Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation 7 power x minus 11 power x equals to the square root of 77 power x minus 121 power x. In other words, we are going to solve for x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. As we can see on the right hand side we are dealing with this uh, square root sign. So undo this one we must square it. Therefore I am going to take the square on this side and the left hand side as well. Here on the right hand side this square and this square root they undo each other. So therefore the left hand side we can write 7 power x minus 11 power x whole square and the right hand side since this radical sign is gone so we ended up with the 77 power x minus 121 power x. And now let's focus on this 77 power x and here I have copied it down. Let's look at this base 77. This could be written as 7 times 11. So therefore this whole thing is going to become 7 times 11 whole power x and that is same as writing 7 power x times 11 power x. And now let's focus on this 121 power x. And here I have copied it down and once again 121 could be written as 11 times 11. So therefore we can write 11 times 11 whole power x which is same as 11 power x times 11 power x once again. So therefore our this equation is going to become the left hand side. I'm going to keep it same. 7 power x minus 11 power x whole square and the right hand side 77 power x I'm going to replace it by this one 7 power x times 11 power x minus 121 power x could be written as 11 power x times 11 power x once again. Now we can see on the right hand side this 11 power x and this 11 power x uh, that is in common. So therefore we can factor out 11 power x outside and in the parentheses we are left with the 7 power x minus 11 power x. Let's go ahead and move this uh, right hand side to the left. So therefore this could be written as 7 power x minus 11 power x whole square when we move it on this side become 11 power x times 7 power x minus 11 power x equals to 0 on the right hand side. And now we can see 7 power x minus 11 power x and 7 power x minus 11 power x is in common. So therefore we can factor out 7 power x minus 11 power x outside and in this bracket we are ended up with the 7 power x minus 11 power x from this side and then we got simply minus 11 power x from here and then we are going to close the bracket is equal to 0 on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and combine these like terms. So we are going to get 7 power x minus 11 power x and here in this bracket that's going to give us 7 power x minus 2 times 11 power x equals to 0. And now we can see we got these two factors equal to 0. Let me go ahead and separate them. I'm going to put down this first factor 7 power x minus 11 power x equals to 0 and at the same time I'm going to put this uh, second factor this one 7 power x minus 2 times 
11 power x equal to 0 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, first equation. And here I have copied it down and we are going to solve for x. Let me go ahead and move this 11 power x to the right hand side. So therefore this is going to become 7 power x equals to 11 power x. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 11 power x and 11 power x on this side as well. And the left hand side we have uh, this fraction. This could be written as 7 divided by 11 whole power x equal to this reduces to the 1 on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and manipulate this 1. 1 is same as writing 7 divided by 11 whole power 0. So therefore this equation could be written as 7 divided by 11 whole power x equal to 7 divided by 11 whole power 0. Now we can see our bases are same. So therefore we can equate our exponents. So therefore our solution x turns out to be equal to 0. So therefore our solution for this very first equation turns out to be x equal to 0. And now let's focus on this uh, second equation. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and solve this equation for x as well. So therefore let me go ahead and move uh, this uh, term to the right hand side. So therefore this could be written as 7 power x equal to 2 times 11 power x. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 11 power x. On the left hand side that is simply is going to become 11, 7 divided by 11 whole power x equals to on the right hand side they cancel each other out. So we ended up equal to 2. And now let's recall this basic rule where we can convert our this exponential notation into this uh, logarithmic notation. We can see our this equation is in exponential notation where this 2 is our a, this 7 divided by 11 is our b. Therefore this could be converted into logarithmic form x equal to log of 2 with the base 7 divided by 11 and that is our another solution. So thus our two solutions turns out to be x equal to 0 and the other solution is x equal to log of 2 with the base 7 divided by 11. And if we use a scientific calculator this is going to give us a numeric value x is approximately equal to negative 1.534. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.